Econolite. Moving traffic forward. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about the data collection features in Vision. The first thing to note is that you need to make sure the web services are enabled for the data collection. That's in the COM Manager. So let's go into the COM Manager of the camera we're going to get the data from. Go to Device Settings. And if we go to the bottom of the screen where it says Web Server, make sure this is enabled. If it's disabled, which is default, then you will not be able to pull the data. All the data options will not be available. You can also put in a uh, password authentication. Okay, back at the home screen then, go into the camera, and for the data collection options, You'll notice it shows a capacity of how much how many days are remaining. There's not much data in this particular system, so it's estimating quite a lot, but it'll typically hold at least a year's worth. It has a lot of memory. Now, we have new options. Uh, not only do we have the raw data, which is used with the data reporter tool, which that's where we can graph the uh, counts and turning movements and so forth. We also have bin statistics, uh, detection statistics, and a zone statuses statistics. Uh, the bin statistics is the most interesting. Let's use timestamps here. I always say you know, don't try and download all the data in a camera. Let's say we want uh, November 20 through the following Tuesday, the 27th, for instance. Now, the interval can be down to as low as one minute. Defaults, uh, I think, to 15 minutes. That's pretty standard. And you'd put in the password if one were required if we had enabled that feature. And then we'll hit save. Now this camera hasn't really been recording much, so it might not have a lot of data saved, but you can put in a data a name for that, and down here will be a message, and it'll be completed when it's uh, saved. It hasn't saved any records in this particular instance, uh, but that's all you need to do to pull up to save off uh, statistics uh, that are binned, and let's show an example of that now. Okay, I've saved off some bin data here. Let's open this one up. And this is 15 minute bins. What you have is by zone for the various bins, the data collected. And we've added a unique identifier for each zone because sometimes if you don't rename a zone, you'll have zones with the same name, but they are actually different zones. So you can, you can tell that here. This is why it's so important to name the zones. Now it shows occupancy, speed, volume, your through, right, and left turn counts which automatically are collected by zone for that bin so this is the first bin the next 15 minute bin the next 15 minute bin and so forth and you can see what for instance the counts are for zone one um, and so forth now the raw data uh, you wouldn't really be able to use in this manner but you would use with the data reporter tool this is the binned data count which is very useful that's the basics of data collection with Vision.